G'day guys, welcome back to another video. Did you know that the WCA in its whole lifetime, since 2003, has been recording world records and world record averages from the very beginning? And as of today, we've had 1,271 world records over all 18 events. Well, 19 slash 20 events because some of them have been discontinued. Yes, I'm counting Feet, Magic, and Master Magic. Some events some of you kids probably haven't even heard of. But have you ever wondered, out of all of these events, what event has the most world records? You might think it's three by three, because you hear about them all the time. Whenever a world record's broken, it's all over the news, it's all over your Instagram, all your socials, and it's a really exciting thing. But no, that's not the case at all. Today, I'm gonna to be counting down the events that have the most world records ever in history. And yeah, there's been quite a few. Obviously, I'm not gonna go into every single world record because there's thousands, but I'm gonna categorize each world record into its event. Starting off with the least amount of world records, which is five blind average. There's only ever been nine world records five blind has ever had in the average. But funnily enough, it's actually had 40 world world records in the single. There's not even a thousand people in the world who actually have a five blind average yet. It's pretty difficult. Coming in next, we have Master Magic Average, which is only 10 world records in history. It makes sense because Magic and Master Magic were both discontinued in 2011. But there wasn't that much time to actually get world records anyway. Next up is Four Blind Average with only 22 world records ever. Again, it's one thing to get a success in these events, but to actually get an average of three just blows my mind. I don't know how you can concentrate for that long. So yeah, there's only been 12 world records for Four Blind. Next is an interesting one. We have the Scoob single. There's only been 13 Scoob single world records ever recorded in history. This also kind of makes sense because Scoob hasn't even been event for 10 years. It started in 2014, so it hasn't really had that much time to get singles and averages. But at the same time, it's a very quick event that makes it harder for people to beat the single world record. Next up, we have Master Magic single. There's only been 14 world record singles for Master Magic over the history. And again, with the small quick events, 2x2 single has only ever had 17 world records. Next, with only 19 world records, we have Pyraminx single and Master Magic a magic single. All the small quick events seem to not have that many single world records, but then all the hard, big, long ones seem to have not many average world records. Pretty interesting how that goes. Next, we have an interesting one. It's FMC with only 18 world record singles. You'd think there'd be a lot more of these because starting from the very beginning, there's a very big difference between the high and the low times for this event. Well, you can't really call them times, it's more just results. But yeah, only 18 world records. Bumping it up a bit, we've got Clock Single and Feet Average with only 23 world records. And then the only event that doesn't have an average is Multi Blind with only 25 world records ever. Now I should mention that Multiblind used to have an old version where they had different rules and different specifications. So that's actually considered a different event, which they stopped recording in 2008 when they changed to the new version, which actually had six world records from the beginning. So technically it's had 31, but as we know it today, it's only had 25. There's been 26 six by six singles and 26 Scoob averages ever recorded. Now there's three here, FMC average, Megaminx average, and one-handed singles all have 28 world records. We're starting to to get quite high and this isn't getting into the big categories yet 28 world records for these three events next we've got the four blind single and clock averages there's been both 31 world records for both of these and there's been 32 mega mink single world records there's been 35 seven by seven singles and where one singles which is actually interesting because there was a video quite a while ago that explained how seven by seven and square one are kind of the same event wouldn't really even make sense if you haven't seen the video go check it out now where does three by three land? Well, three by three single and three by three average both have 36 world records in history. Not only that, but the six by six average and the square one average both have 36 as well. That's over hundred world records just for those four. And for three by three single, 10 of those were Felix Zemdex. And for the average, well, 13 were Felix Zemdex. I mean, of course they were. Now after this, I reckon this is gonna be unexpected for a lot of people. Next we have the two by two average and the Pyraminx average, both with 37 world records. So that's one world record higher than the three by three single and average. Now something interesting I said before is that with the bigger, harder events, there's usually a lot more single world records because they're so incremental with the world records when they beat. But then there's hardly any averages. But with 5x5 five five blind, there's been 40 single world records in history. And what's interesting, there's actually been 40 world record averages for three blind as well. For 7x7 seven seven average, there's been 42 world records. And now we're getting into the top five events based on amount of world records in history. At number five, we have 5x5 five five single, it's pretty funny, with 43 total world records, 16 of which are from Felix Zemdegs. A tied fourth place for 46 world records is the one-handed average 
and then the three blind single. There's been 46 three by three blindfolded single world records. I find that really interesting. At third place, we have four by four singles, which no surprise, 48 world records. And of course, 12 of those are Felix Zemdegs. And four by four average is second place, 49 world records, 10 of which are Max Park. There's been so many four by four world records. So you know what the number one is, if you've been counting? The number one event with the most world records ever in history is five by five average with 51 world records. Okay, I had to recount this. Apparently, Felix Zemdegs has had 21 out of the 51 world records for 5x5 five five average. That's insane. And to top it off, those were all uninterrupted. From 2010 to 2018, when Max beat his world record, that's eight years that Felix had uninterrupted world records. Back to back, 21 world records. Uh, I mean, of course people say Felix is the best. He held 10% of all the world records that ever happened in the WCA. I mean, that's, that's pretty crazy. But yeah, I just found this really interesting. Let me know what you guys think. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.